Hey y'all, today I'm gonna go over my jerk baits and my jerk bait colors. Um, if you'll notice, most of these are mega bass. I kinda got bit by the mega bass bug. Uh, all of these are my dirt deep jerk baits. Colors are still the same for my shallow jerk baits. So I, instead of getting both packages out, I'm just gonna show one, but it does carry over to the shallow stuff. Either way, it's the same box, basically. Um, just to get started, I'm gonna start talk about the best color that works at almost every lake. Clear Lake, Berryessa, Delta, Comanche. I don't think there's a body of water I have not caught a fish off of this color, and that is Pro Blue. Uh, it just, it's a really good shad imitator just for that natural look. And it's just a great way to start. Um, when it comes to, if I tell someone what colors to start with when they ask, it's gonna be Pro Blue or the next color, which is Tennessee Shad. When that water gets a little bit dingier um, or the light levels are a little bit different, these are the two that I start with. Um, and basically that that more shaddy look that it's got a little more flash to it compared to this blue which is a lot more translucent that's where i'll go in if neither one of those works the next one i go to is wakasagi wakasagi works really good in um like delta works really well uh, the other places that I've been catching them on is Clear Lake and um, also Comanche. But basically, these three colors, you're going to get it done. These are the basic three that I would tell somebody to get. The easiest ones to get a hold of are these two, Tennessee Shad and the Pro Blue. And then Wakasagi would be next. Again, it works all for the plus ones. Looks first for the larger ones. These are all the junior size. This is the actual full size plus one. And you can tell it has been through the ringer and it has been beat up. And it is basically a clear lake bait because they get little cracks in there and lets that clear lake water in there. And it just muddies up the inside, which don't get rid of them. It does help. You can vary out your colors. Because you can see these are both pro blues and you can see the difference between the two of them and that difference can matter sometimes when you don't need quite as much flash so they're still good clear lake this is threadfin shad threadfin on clear lake is candy they love eating this thing and you can catch crappie you can catch bass you can catch whatever wants to eat this they focus on that thread fin there um it will work on Berryessa, but and and it'll work on delta and other places but clear lake they definitely tend to this thread fin shad more than they will this tennessee shad although they will still eat both this thread fin shad seems to be a lot better performing at clear lake specifically uh, next, getting under the oddball colors is Cherry Spawn or Spawn Cherry. I have recently came into this bait and it works really well in low light conditions like first thing in the morning, it gives that nice brightness. Um, and then springtime, in that spring when they're looking for something bright, when they're just in that feed mode pre-spawn, this uh, whitish pinkish definitely gets their attention and they will eat it also side note this is the same bait that i was catching my crappie on at clear lake you throw this through a crappie school and like they'd eat the pro blue but they'd chase this thing down so it definitely was really good on that note crappie wise clown color they would also go after that clown. 
Side note to this clown color is actually really good in the spring at Berryessa. This is an old school secret back in Smithwick days that a lot of people don't talk about, but this clown, definitely good in the spring, pre-spawn, or even during spawn on Berryessa. Don't count these old school colors out. They will crush this thing. I've had my best day ever on a clown covered Smithwick for jerk baits that as much as I've been catching them in the last couple years, it'll never beat that day where it was every cast, at least every other cast for hours. It was amazing. Um, caveat to the mother load people. Um, Pedro, Malones, those kind of lakes. This is called Northern Secret. It is purple. And you guys know how much those fish in those lakes like that purple and that more uh, margarine mutilator and those things. This Northern Lights works really well. Also in the summertime at Clear Lake, this will catch some crappie. Throw this around some docks at Clear Lake and you'll catch some crappie and some big ones too. They stack up underneath those, those certain docks. Now breaking it into smaller jerk baits. This is the Pointer SP, but this is the deep driver. Oh, actually it's a DD78. That's the 78 size. Um, now with this bait, you'll notice these ones are all factory. I don't change them. I don't change the hooks. I leave them the way they are. Some people have problems with the, the hooks backing or uh, bending out. I loosen my drag. I let the fish run. Once they're stuck, they're stuck. I've brought multiple fish in with one hook. As long as I don't force it, it's when I force it is when I lose them and when I bend hooks. Um, this Lucky Craft it does not suspend, even though it's supposed to, it doesn't quite suspend right. And what I've done for this is I've added split rings to the front to help weigh this down so it'll even it out and then i've also changed the hooks to a slightly larger hook so it'll actually do a true suspend um, and you can also see there's a split ring on the front here and that is also for the intention of weighting it down um, you could use suspend strips and put it on the belly i just use split rings because well, I already had them, so <laughs> it makes it a lot easier when you already have a hundred of them, right? Um, this is uh, the ghost color, uh, and this is probably my primary when I go to this. When they're focusing on that small bait, I usually go to like a ghost or um, Aurora Black is the op the other option. Um, now, Trick Darter. These act completely different than all of these baits. They definitely have a reason, a call of trick darter for a reason. They act a lot more erratic. And this is a color called Cosmic Shad, which is beautiful. Just found it. Haven't had a chance to throw it yet because I haven't been focusing on small baits. But uh, I'm sure I'll be putting in some work on this uh, X80 trick darter. Um. I have a lot more baits in here that I've gone through, but that's basically it. Um, that's kind of where I live. I kind of told you what lakes that I go to with what colors. That's where I'm at. Um, I've recently reached into the re-range and some other baits that have been recommended to me. They're all great baits. Of course, I have Stacy 90s in here. I have all the staples that are in there. Uh, just I mainly live in that mega bass world. Um, if you like this kind of video, let me know. Um, I have crankbaits, worms, drop shots. I got every box that's in here that I could go through. And uh, I think I'm gonna go through a couple of them to kind of show what I'm at. That way, when you're watching my videos, you can understand why I grab what and show a little bit more of the background than just fish catches. Um, I hope you liked the video, and until next time, I hope you get them.